Today, this video is video 100. 100 video posted on the channel. So my first message for everyone who's been watching this YouTube channel for now almost a year, I wanna say thank you. Thank you very much because despite this channel having millions of subscribers or a huge community, I'm very proud that I've seen some very nice comments and people engaging with the content. Sometimes people coming back from video to video. And I know for now we are a small community, but I really hope that this is going to take off and help other people improve their life through running and fitness and, you know, just challenging activities in general. Because that is a goal I set for myself one year ago, trying to help people just by sharing my own experience and all the mistakes I've done and all the things I'm going through and all the objective I have. In mind. With that said, knowing that this is a video 100, I had to challenge myself to do something really, really hard, and I just found the channel. If you are following me on Strava, you might have seen some new trainings in the last weeks popping up on my feed. The reason for that is that I decided to challenge myself into running what is called the Cotswolds Way. The Cotswolds is this area in the UK, which is sort of a national park. In the UK, they are called AOMB, which means Area of Outstanding Natural Beauty. So the Cotswold is like this national park where you have a lot of very specific to Cotswolds landscapes. It's basically wonderful trails, small villages, castle, churches, and even some world heritage city like the city of Bath. Going across this national park, there is a way called the Cotswolds Way. It goes from Chipping Camden on the north part of the Cotswolds all the way down to the city of Bath, which is an amazing city. I've already visited this before. Incredible city. And this trail sort of goes north to south. You can obviously do it in both ways for a total of 102 miles or 165 kilometers. It also has some elevation, more or less around 3,500 meters of elevation. This specific way is one of the national trail here in the UK and being able to go across those national trails is a very dear objective to me because I always love those long hikes. We did one already with Margot that was a 13 days hike a few years ago. It was in Corsica and I've been dying to repeat the experience and discover the country this way. So although the Coast Force Way is the objective right now, I have sort of in mind that if this is a success and I enjoy doing it and I want to do more, I'd love to be able to take all the other national trail and try to complete them in the next years. So this is a bit of a trial run as well for me. I like this, definitely doing more of that. I have decided to make this challenging and therefore I'm only allowing myself four days to complete the whole trail, which is roughly, if you divide those 100 miles into four sections, it's roughly like running a marathon every day for four days, plus the ascents that would be roughly a thousand meters every day. Again, I'm make another video to explain exactly the itinerary I'll be following for those four days. What I wanted to say in this video is that this is the beginning of a series. I'm going to be documenting every step of the way, preparation, equipment, gear, nutrition, all the actual days of running and hiking, strategy behind all of that. I really want to make this a full-on documentary about how to do multi-day hike or run so that if you enjoy doing those kind of things, maybe this can bring you some value. That is why if you want to see the whole series of this whole adventure, maybe consider subscribing and clicking the notification bell so that you get notified every time a new video comes out. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And then I'm going to leave you with this. At the bottom will be the full series where all the video about the code source where would be put and then this over there will be the last video published on the channel so have fun thank you very much for watching and until next time